What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and coverage here today. And I guess you could say it's brand new, but it is images and stuff that I didn't ever react to. I think this, this little photo album that I'm going to be reacting to is actually a week old or so, but we do have some like new images of some upcoming figures that I wanted to talk about. And we also know what is coming in the top talents wave that is coming later this year. So not the Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, or Jimmy Uso and Rock figures that are coming relatively soon. Not that terrible Top Talents wave. We have a new Top Talents wave that we're going to talk about, so I do want to get into that and discuss it. So with that being said, man, let's dive into the WWE action figure news that we have for today. So getting into the new Top Talents wave, as I just said, we do already know that we're getting Roman Reigns, The Rock, and Jimmy Uso, like this full... It's either Jimmy or Jay. I want to say it's Jimmy because Jay was in the SummerSlam Build-A-Figure set, and you guys know they match. They have like their black bloodline pants with the red accents. Very cool figures there. We have those figures coming soon in a Top Talents wave. Kind of a bummerific wave, to be honest with you. Roman's the same old Jane. The Rock has the smaller torso for an updated style Rock. And then you have the Uso, which is going to be really nice. So the, the, do with that what you will. I am going to be happy to get Bloodline figures at retail really easily, hopefully, with that Jimmy. And then you have Jay in the SummerSlam Builder figure set. But anyways, getting into this line, we have a new Top Talents wave. And in this wave, this is actually something I want to say it was damn near a year ago that we discussed this wave. We said what the new Top Talents Elites were going to be. It may not have been a year. Maybe it's like eight months or six months ago or something like that. I got on here and I discussed news and I said the new Elite wave was going to be these characters. And it ended up like we thought it got messed up. So we backtracked and said, okay, well, I guess those were supposed to be basics. But now it is confirmed this Elite set that we have known about for a long time now is actually coming to fruition. And it is going to be Cody Rhodes, Matt Riddle, and Rey Mysterio. Pretty solid Top Talents wave. I actually like like this as a top talents elite set you get some new blood in there a new cody which i'm all for i love his figures from mattel i think they feel really quality and i'm all for it and apparently this wave's kind of weird because i'm pretty sure steve took to the WWE action figure forums or the wrestling figure forums the other day and he discussed that Cody is going to be new deco but Rey Mysterio and Matt Riddle are re-releases so that is very interesting something if I can find the screenshot I will share it with you guys but that is very interesting that they would have a re-release Matt Riddle and then a re-release Rey Mysterio, and then new deco for Cody. I don't think we've ever seen a re-release. I mean, I, I know we've seen, like, Elite 52 Rollins redone in the Top Talents wave. We've seen Roman Reigns redone. But as far as, like, Matt Riddle, there's so many different, you know, gears they could do. I guess it's going to be the Elite 99 gear. And then for Rey Mysterio, there's literally so many damn... Like, what the hell could they do for him? Unless it's, like, an old figure that they update. Maybe that's what they're meaning there. I don't know. Or is it going to be... Like, one thing I'll tell you is I've never seen that Macho Man Rey Mysterio. Mysterio Top Talents Elite at retail. Is it going to be that figure? I don't know. A lot of questions there, but as far as Cody Rhodes, they said it was new deco, so I'm guessing it won't be the defining moments with no bruise. Like we discussed, it could potentially be. Maybe it's going to be Backlash 2022. I don't know. There's some different gears it could be, but I don't really care what it is. It's going to be great because I, I like his figures a lot. Cody's figures from Mattel. Really good formula. Great posability. They feel really quality in hand, so I don't really care what the attire is. That's going to be a day one grab for me. But diving into this photo album, man, let's start things off with the defining moments wave here we saw this in LA I've documented these for a little bit you know we've documented well on these but one thing about the, these figures is I'm just going to go one by one through this uh, the Cody Rhodes in this set is so beautiful the head sculpt on this guy is actually the exact same sculpt as the Elite 101 but it does have different paint deco and you guys will notice that it looks a lot more like Cody this is the best Cody Rhodes head sculpt at least for Mattel that we've probably ever seen I think it looks just like him like his just stoic sitting there style face where it's just like him kind of having that blank stare or just that I, I don't want to say lifeless because I think there is life in this head sculpt I think it looks really good so the Cody Rhodes is in here it looks beautiful this is one of the figures I'm most looking forward to this year I think this entire defining moment set is great say what you will about the mankind I think his torso is a bit long I think he's going to be too tall to be honest with you but those are things that we're going to have to address when we get the figure in hand and I don't know if I'm going to review this in one full box set or if I'm going to do each figure individually you guys can let me know down below would you rather see individual reviews on all of them or one big ass box set review of the defining moments because you guys know that all four of them come in that gigantic shipper box which looks so damn good and i feel like if i can i'm probably going to try and get a men on card set of this in the big old shipper box but we will have to see we'll have to see about that that remains to be seen but i am enjoying all four of these Shawn michaels looks good i like the head sculpt here i like the tights this is one with the soft goods and everything like that that i'm into i would have preferred to see in a brand 
brand new head sculpt, but I still, you know, I can get behind it. I like it there. The Mankind figure, again, the torso is a bit weird, but we'll get into that. I still like some of the head sculpts we got going here. And then the Bret Hart is very nice. I love the cloth jacket. The All these figures look good, men on card. I am a big, big fan of these, and even if we just get these once a year, I'm already looking forward to the next wave, so that'll be really fun to see. You got some mixtures of some older characters and some newer characters, so that'll be really fun to see where they go next time, and I think that'll be awesome, so we'll see what comes of that. Maybe this is where they can get the cash-in Rollins from the greatest hits. Maybe they can redo him and put him in the Defining Moments line. I think that would be something to look forward to for Series 2, the Defining Moments line, but speaking of which, let's get into the greatest hits, man. Starting out first, we do have this full set here. Undertaker in the Hall of Champions re-release here. Great looking head sculpt on this guy. I think this figure looks great. Uh, you know, you have the updated beefy arms, double jointed. This is a good figure here. I love the way it looks. And I think there's a lot of upgrades here compared to the last figure. So that really makes me happy there. The Shawn Michaels from the WrestleMania. Love this head sculpt. I've always loved this Shawn. This is always one of the better Mash uh, Mash Mattel Shawns that we've seen. Probably the best Shawn Michaels head sculpt they've done, honestly, is this one here. I'm, I'm loving this. This is one that I've had a few times in my collection. I always broke it down for custom. So getting him back in the collection with double jointed arms is going to be really nice for me. We have the Seth Rollins here. We've discussed this one at nauseum. So many different things you can do with this figure. I'm still in the process of updating a, a new Formula Rollins. I'm actually in the process of fixing one and making it how it should have been. So I will probably put the head sculpt from this Greatest Hits figure onto that figure when it's time. We'll have to see about that, but... I am working on a project right now with the updated formula set in the cash-in gear with all the bells and whistles. Should be really fun, and I can't wait to show you guys what that finished product looks like. We also have Blue Tista here. Solid-looking figure. I think you got some cool updates compared to the last one. Not like a huge, like, you know, just ridiculous release, but, you know, it's, it's there. You have the Harley race. We've discussed this one as well. You know, it's, it's say what you will, but this was a highly sought-after figure. A lot of people have been wanting this guy, and I never tracked this one down, so I'm, I'm happy to fill this hole in the collection, and I don't know if I'll ever track down the OG after getting this one. I just don't see the point. I guess if I found it for a good price, I might pull the trigger, but this Harley Race figure is pretty cool. And then we have DDP here. I've said my piece on this. I know a lot of people say that it wasn't really available, but I legitimately went to the Royal Rumble, and they had 76 of these on the back wall. And then have this in the greatest hits wave. I don't know. I just didn't like it. And they were selling them for like 25, 30 bucks a piece. So I don't know. I just felt, I guess it just kind of depends. I know the, the release on that and the retail and the availability of that figure was weird. But I don't know. I just am not a big fan of that figure in the greatest hits wave here. I think that this could have easily been a spot for a different figure, I think. But who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. Next up, we do have a look at an upcoming basic wave. Now, this wave's not my favorite. You know, you do have Hulk Hogan here. That I actually asked Mattel about this. They said that like the Mattel, the basic Hulk Hogan figures sell like hotcakes, so it, it's no shock that he would be here. We have we saw these figures also at WrestleMania Superstore in LA, so there is that. You have Pat McAfee here, you have the regular version and the Chase variant, which I like these. This is, if I find this figure at retail, I, I might cop both, but this is a guy that I'm absolutely going to get. I love Pat McAfee as a as a person, as a, as a celebrity, as an entertainer. I like him a lot, so I'll definitely be grabbing this if I come across it at retail. We have Matt Riddle here, kind of a plain Jane, same head sculpt we've seen 76 times. Not the biggest hype for that one. We have Liv Morgan here, another one that I do not care about. You know, same Elite 85 head sculpt. Just not my favorite gear for her. I just do not care about this basic here. Don't think I'll probably ever grab this one. And then we have John Cena with the hat sculpted on. First time they've ever done that. I don't know what I'll do here. I guess I may pick this up. It'll be, you know, one of those things. But I feel like when I saw this figure at the Superstore, it looked like he had the damn, like, Sandlot hat on. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had Small's Sandlot baseball cap on, like, with the big AF bill. I just feel like the scaling on this hat is not, tip is not there. I feel like it's way too big, but... We will see about that when it, you know, you get it in hand, it's a little bit different. But at the Superstore, it was looking massive, so we'll have to see about that one. Then we have some Ultimate Editions here. Now, these Ultimate Editions here, we have some new images of The Rock. This one really shocked me out in L.A. at the WrestleMania Superstore. The Rock figure here looks beautiful, man. I love that they went with the track pants. I like that it is different from the first Ultimate Edition Rock. We saw the grayed-out render for this figure a long time ago, right? I think it's been over a year now. We saw the grayed-out render image. We were like, oh my god, it's literally the same figure as his Ultimate Edition the first time, but he does have some updates. I love that they went with the blue trunks graphics instead of the red. And then you have the track suit in there, which is just chef's kiss here. I think this is going to be one that I grab a few of just for the track suit and the track shirt in general. 
I feel like I gotta have one with the track suit and without the track suit, and then use the other track suit for other track suit track suits. So we'll see about that. But I, I like this figure. I love the head sculpts on this. The, the Ultimate Edition, the first time, I might actually buy multiples just for the head sculpts because the head sculpts here are way better than any other Rock head sculpts I used from this era. So I may be using these head sculpts on all of my different Rock elites from around this time. So we'll have to see about that. I think we got a lot of surgery coming up on that. And then we also have a look at the upcoming Ruthless Aggression Ultimates Walmart exclusives here man and this Rey Mysterio I don't know if you guys can see it in these images but his Dominic tattoo that's actually on his bicep is actually turned the wrong way it's like vertical on his arm instead of horizontal so it looks weird and it's definitely wrong but this figure we've seen this figure as well I think it looks okay it's it's it's, it's a cool addition but I think that it, you know he's had he had so many gears like this is like a defining moment right this is from his world heavyweight championship win at wrestlemania so it makes sense why it would get an ultimate but the attire wasn't the most flashy the entrance gear is what makes this figure great but i am excited to feel the new Rey mysterio ultimate edition formula see how it compares to his elites because you guys know his elites are fantastic so we'll see how that goes you know when we compare those and then we have this right here man this eddie guerrero figure <laughs> i mean dude this one image is ridiculous if you guys watched my interview with Steve, I talked about this figure. I, you know, he, he agreed that they're gonna re, they're gonna address this figure in the future. Obviously, it's too late to fix it now. But this torso is atrocious. It looks really damn good with a shirt on, which is so crazy, man. When you see this figure with a shirt on, you're like, damn, this figure looks really good. Then you take the shirt off, and you're like, Jesus Christ, put a shirt on. What are you doing? So, you know, those are different things there, but. This Eddie Guerrero figure definitely is going to have to have some surgery on him. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we're definitely going to do something. Even if, I mean, I, I, I call me crazy, like putting the Rey Mysterio torso on there may be a better fix than what we're seeing here. And he was jacked. He, you know, he was a jacked individual, but this torso is crazy, especially when you see these different angles. It's just the legs are way too small for that gigantic upper chest. So we will have to address those issues in surgery or something. I'm definitely going to fix him up in some way. And, you know, that if I guess if you hate it so much and you don't want to do a torso swap, putting the shirt on there looks really, really good. So that that's an option for you. But, yeah, definitely let down by the way it looks shirtless. But that is all of the figure images that we have. And I also wanted to address the top talents wave because I wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on that wave and like what we should expect out of that and all those different things. But that is all the news, man. That is all the figures. I, I never made a video about this and I wanted to get a video up on it because there are a lot of things here that I wanted to address, especially with like the Rock Ultimate Edition. And then we had like better images of certain figures. And I think that when you see them in person and then you have these images and then you compare the two, it's like you can really get a focus on what you're going to be receiving when you get these figures. But if you guys would like to pre-order some of these stuff, I think some of this stuff is up for pre-order right now at Ringside collectibles use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but i think that is going to wrap up our news video for today man thank you guys so very much for watching if you guys are interested in becoming a patron a huge shout out to our patrons of the mdt youtube channel definitely go check out the link in the description below cool perks over there figure giveaways I don't know exactly what figure we're giving away this month just yet. It probably, it might be an Elite 90 Randy Orton, but I am not entirely sure just yet. We're working on that, but that is going to wrap up the news video, man. Huge shout out to our patrons again. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these figures down in the comment section below. What are you copping? What are you not copping? What are you excited about? What are you not excited about? But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. See you guys in the next one, and have a blessed day.